So lately I've been reflecting on the past few months that I've been uploading videos here on YouTube and the current state of this channel. And the more I think about it, the more happier I've been in a long time uploading videos here. The past couple of playthroughs have been amazing palette cleansers in my opinion. Just for me, as someone who tries his best to entertain people, I feel like the past couple of major playthroughs that we have had have been a lot of fun. That really comes down to just being some really cool, fun, quirky games. Catherine Full Body was a lot of fun, a lot of interaction from people. People seemed invested, I was invested, I love the gameplay. Yeah, Catherine takes a <laughs> top spot again on my channel for one of my favorite playthroughs uh, here in this remake. And it, it really left me with a warm heart, you know, with the ending and everything. Catherine Full Body was a lot of fun. It was a great time. Crisis Core, huge project, 11 videos, about an hour each. A lot of, a, lo a lot of off-screen grinding. Probably the most for any game I've ever done. Besides probably like Pokemon Platinum, getting the Shiny Giratina and stuff like that. That took a long time. That took a week, like 10 days, like 10,000 resets, something ridiculous like that. I grinded the hell out of that thing. That was a fun playthrough too. That was a while ago. But yeah, I feel like because we played through Crisis Core, it really made Final Fantasy VII Remake that much more engaging. That much more... It just added so much more to it, I feel. Yeah, and I feel like if a lot of people uh, watch both playthroughs too, they probably felt the same way because just uh, everything that happened, you know? And I won't, you know, go into details, of course, but... Yeah, that was great. It was a good time. No more heroes. Just finished. Just finished that game. What a game. What a quirky, different game. And I feel like it's so different. It, it's so it's so out there. It's it's hardly ever talked about uh, in in these discussions of like you know a lot of YouTubers that I watch. Firstly, a lot of people don't bring up this game, and I feel like it really is the definition of a hidden gem. I know it has its cult following, but. Yeah, I'm really happy that I decided to play through that because it was a lot of fun. It was it was a really dumb game that didn't take itself seriously, but in all the right ways. I think a lot of it, uh, a lot of its jokes hit the mark, and you know the music, uh, the gameplay was fun. I played on easy, <laughs> play on easy, so like bosses didn't drag. Kind of regret. That's my one regret. I kind of want to play through it on normal and just on my uh, free time and see how I do. Yeah, Animal Crossing New Horizons. I, I've been playing that daily still. I have uh, made a lot of progress on my island. And pretty soon, I'm going to return to that. Return to making videos and uploading that as well. I just wanted to take my time and really unveil something special. And I feel like after so much, so many revisions to my island uh, and so much terraforming, I feel like I'm... Finally, finally starting to get there where I can show off something that's really special, you know I have been recording the events as they have unfolded. I have like five videos uh, just waiting to be made Again, I want to be happy with um With that before I go right back into it. But yeah, man uh, those playthroughs Those five playthroughs have really made me feel a lot better <laughs> about making I've been having a lot more fun before that, we played Death Stranding, Pokemon Sword and Shield <laughs> at the same time. And that was such a conflicting... Oh my, those two games at the same time, dude. Because on, on one hand, you have Death Stranding, which is Death Stranding. <laughs> and then you have Pokemon Sword and Shield, which is that. And it's like, Pokemon Sword and Shield lacks in so many, like, no voice acting. No, like the animation stuff. I know it's on the Switch, and and Death Stranding had all of that, so I really enjoyed Death Stranding because of that. But the more I look back on it, like yeah, man, we were really just delivering a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know, there wasn't much game there, but at, at least in the time making the videos, I was genuinely enjoying it, and that's uh, a lot more than could be said for most people who play through the game. And yeah, 21 videos. Platinum Trophy Death Stranding, everyone. Yeah. 
That's crazy, man. I've been playing these long games. Did the Silent Hill playthrough not too long ago. Uh, I want to get into that series. Did that around Halloween last year. Wow. Yeah, man. I'm so proud of that. <laughs> yeah, four videos for the playthrough. And one extra for the alien ending. That is one of my most things that I'm most proud of because that's an old ass game that's like hard <laughs> and I did so well <laughs> I don't know I just look at the visuals the fog that like I made myself I'm really happy with that too but yeah uh after that with the Death Stranding Pokemon Sword and Shield stuff and there was so much controversy surrounding both of those games uh it really dragged me down really dragged me down because I genuinely was enjoying Death Stranding and a lot of people uh, hated it I, I try not to let that shit bother me, but when, you know, a lot of people that you follow just just tear something apart, that, you know, it, like, that does suck. And it kind of, it, it makes you feel isolated. And, uh, yeah, I had a lot of problems with Pokemon, and I feel terrible, because I feel like a lot of people felt the same way uh, that I felt with Death Stranding, because, like, I really disliked a lot of parts of it. And I, I really sincerely apologize if I made you feel that same isolation that I did. I love Pokemon and I want it to be good. I want it to be better. And I, I just gotta be real. I'm not, you know, I just want, I want the best for this series. A lot of it was cool. We talked about it so much at this point. I'm sure you're sick of hearing it, but... A lot of big projects. My channel has not had any chill. In the past couple of months, I've been just, like, big theme after big theme. A lot of time investment for, like, each video. That's why Norma Heroes was a nice palette cleanser for me. That's just goofy game after all this grinding and Crisis Core and FF7. Yeah, man. That and Animal Crossing was definitely the escape I needed for a while. That's probably another reason why I've been feeling so much better over the past couple of months. Just been zenning out in Animal Crossing. But I do want to go back to making two videos a day. We're coming up on one of the biggest projects uh, on my channel. Funny enough, I'm talking about I'm so <laughs> like burnt out from all this shit. But it's something I care about so much. And I've been asking and waiting for this for years. So there's no way in hell you are not getting a Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition playthrough from me. The guy who always talks about it. And I am, I am excited. I really am. That's going to last a long time. Xenoblade is going to be around. You are going to have a lot of Xenoblade. Because I want to play that game. I want to pace myself. I don't want to rush it. I want to take my time. Experience the entire game. Uh, for what it has to offer. You know. But I I know a lot of people don't like uh, that kind of stuff. So I also want to have stuff on the side. Uh, speaking of things that people don't like. Last of Us 2. Uh, it's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> like midway through June we're going to be very deep into Xenoblade at that time and I want to see what all the controversy is about I want to see if it's that bad look at it this way if it is that bad we could get a good laugh out of it right that's my mindset going into it and if it isn't that bad then hey it's not that bad maybe it'll be a good time who knows I feel like it's a win-win and yeah you know, they've been working on it for six years. I saw that theme with Troy Baker. He was going on defending Naughty Dog and stuff. And apparently it wasn't a disgruntled employee that leaked it at all or anything. But yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I thought that could be something we could experience together. I don't know. It, it's kind of a big... It's a, two big projects. Last of Us and Xenoblade at the same time. I was also... I don't know what it is about these obscure Wii games. I've been getting to appreciate the Wii so much more. Like, I've been playing a lot of Pikmin, uh, the GameCube remake on the Wii. Damn, the series is underrated. It is so- I have fallen in love with Pikmin. That could be a really fun thing to do, as well. <laughs> I don't know where to take this right now. That's the one constant in my channel. There's too many good games. But yeah, I have been enjoying these little Let's Talks we've been ha having. Uh, yeah, it's chill. It's a nice- Nice, nice chill, change of pace, not two hour video me. Uh, just w delivering boxes, alright? That's about it. <laughs> That's about all the time that I have 
for now. Yeah, I could go on and on rambling, but I won't take... I'm trying to keep these videos a little shorter. So I don't waste any of your time here. Yeah. I need to go back to making short video. <laughs> Alright dudes, I uh, hope you enjoyed. And I will be catching you guys later, okay? Have a good one, you guys. Take care.